Hey, how's it going everyone? So this video is going to show you how to get all the collectibles in The Last of Us. That's all the jokes, all the optional conversations, all the tools, all the shift doors, all the documents, and all the Firefly pendants. Hopefully it helps some of you out. I've also put out a series that just shows me playing through the whole game, getting all the collectibles if you'd rather follow that. That should be linked around in the description, along with all the other The Last of Us related stuff on my channel. Much love for checking out the video. I hope it helps some of you out. Let's get this going. Right, so the first collectible is just over here on the right. This means more people. When you're having this conversation with Tess, you can approach these guys and get the first conversation so just here. Here they took Marianne. What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. They fucking lynched him. The entire squad? Yeah. Okay, so we got another conversation with Tess here when you're walking through the restaurant. Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. Got your ways. It's kind of hard to miss that one. It's directly in your path. It's all relative. This way. Next up, we got a collectible just after you pull up this ladder. For you and Tess, you're going to head to the right here and through this door that's just ahead of you rather than heading to the left. And there's a firefly pendant sitting right here. David, Michael, something or other. Next collectible is just after you have to either fight or sneak past the infected that are in this area with the spores in it. When you come up this stairs, just turn to your left rather than walking across these planks. And then you're going to go through this door and find a note sitting in the back of this area. If you are sneaking through, don't run through this area or they'll still hear you and chase you up. They got infected trying to sneak into the zone. Okay, so when you're headed under these stairs with Tess, kind of another unmissable thing because it's directly in your path. There's a firefly pendant in this tree. You're going to need to shoot it down if you haven't got a throwable. Uh, but if you have, just chuck a brick or a bottle at it. I'm not sure if you can get one before this point, but never mind. And just before Tess pays off the guy in this area, there are two collectibles. One on the left here, sitting next to this table type area. Drafting notice. And the next one is straight ahead of you here. It's the wanted poster. It's, been hoarding all sorts of shit. it's got Marlene's picture on it. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. They just Executed all of them. Shit. This one's kind of a missable. When you take out these two guys, one of them drops the warehouse key again. You need to get this, so. Nice and quiet. You should get that one anyway. It does count. So when you're in this boat area, you're about to go and chase after Robert. After you've taken everyone out, or before it's up to you, you want to come over to this side of the boat, and there's two collectibles. One here, just in front of this. Uh, so I don't know. That looks like a blue. What's in that? I don't know. It's next to the boat. Enough said. And then the other one. To Robert to piss everyone off. Is where you start off in this area. You can grab this one as soon as you come into it, but there's uh, six or seven guys around here, so you might want to clear them out first. Hopefully, I'm showing enough here to uh, give you bearing just the way you gotta go. But yeah, it's just on the right as you start. We'll come back to here if you need to grab it. Okay, so the last one in this mission is just ahead of you after you. I heard all the shooting, but. After you start out with Elliot, it's a firefly pendant that's on this guy's body. Fireflies. Same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro. I'm just following you. Okay, next mission. On to the outskirts. So, 
you got a collectible behind yourself as you start off in this mission, which is Tess's list. It's just in this room behind where you start out. Doing my best here to show you guys the collectibles as well if you want to read them. It takes a little long to get onto the next one sometimes. I think with a few I didn't show them, but for the most part I showed them all, I think. And just after that you got a conversation with Tess here. It's strange that they're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, I just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. How long is this all going to take? If everything goes as planned, we should get you to them in a few hours. Collectible right here. Once we get out there, I need you to follow our lead and stay close. Yeah, of course. This is just after you come down the elevator with Tess and Ellie, and before you crawl through that hole. It's a map of patrol routes. Okay, so as you get past all the guys in the previous area... Just listen out for Ellie's audio cue there, and you can find this collectible right here, sitting next to this lamppost. What happened here? They bombed the hell out of the surrounding areas to the quarantine zones, hoping to kill as much of the infected. This is the downtown area? Okay. It was. No, it Before you head into this building, move to the end of this path. You're gonna, you, to continue, you're going to have to go left by that sign that I just ran past, but there's a collectible just up here. It's a firefly pendant you hanging in the tree. Chuck your brick at it. Keep looking. And if you want to get another you just stay close to her for now. It's just in front of you. Okay. So when you're heading into the building, there's a conversation just through the door here hey, on Tess. one of the dead bodies. Get to it in a sec. This door is where we need to go to continue. And you can't really miss this collectible. Right in front of you. Ripped apart. Body's pretty fresh. Isn't that bad? Yeah, it might be. Stick around. And then head up the stairs here to get another collectible. Shit. That's the field up slug. You alright? It's nothing. Just after you get jumped by the clicker, head through the door next to it, and uh, I think there's a, this is the first shift door. Oh, that was intense. You go through here. You said. To continue here, you need to go to the left through this door, but the shift door is just right in front of you. Kind of hard to miss. Alright. Leave. Firefly. Yep. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Just after you pick up the first Molotov there, you come to these stairs at the back. There's a collectible on this dead body at the right. And it's the Firefly map. Okay, so when you're in this area with the clickers, with the lockers to your left as you come in, in the first shop to your left as you walk away from the lockers, there's a collectible and there's a few infected around here so you may have to take them out or sneak past them it's up to you I think I decided to take this one out then you want to head into the shop and in the back corner fucking scary you'll find I think it's an it's a note to Derek in this drawer. Good times. Okay, so the next one is just over the other side of this truck. You have to pull this up to this truck and jump over and climb on up. Collectibles inside on the other side as you jump over. I think it's the medical pamphlet talks about the cordyceps virus and where it comes from okay so when you come into this area and you have to 
walk up the broken ceiling to continue. You're going to have to go right to continue, but if you go to the left and shimmy across this ledge, you'll find the firefly pendant at the end of here. That's the only thing you can get here. It's the only reason to come along this ledge. Kind of easy to miss, but it's right there. Okay, so when you're separated from Ellie and Tess in the museum, as you're heading through here, the exit's just at the end of this corridor, but you're going to want to take the left before that to get to the shift door that is just here. Two conversations here just before you exit this yes. building after you rescue How Ellie. You just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. One with Tess. What about you, kid? You okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panic breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. And I'm okay. Um, one with Ellie. So, when you exit that area and you're coming down these stairs just after, there's a collectible... Look at this. There's a Firefly logo on his arm. Pretty much underneath the stairs. I know don't you guys know are paid for why, this. but it didn't give me the prompt to look at that one. Trying to say thanks. Yeah, sure thing. So just before, before you come down here and you know what happens to Tess, you've got to go right up the stairs to continue. But uh, you're wading through the water to get to here if you come into this sort of little area here. You can find a Firefly pendant underneath the water. Kind of easy to miss that one. And then when you're in the tunnels with the spores with Ellie... You'll come to a point where she has to walk on the left because she can't swim. So when you get to that point, hop up on the ledge on the left. I will turn my flashlight on in a, a second so you can see. There's a note right here on the left side. Hey, look. It still works. You're not going to leave me here, right? And then in the same location down the stairs where you just picked up that note you have to swim under here to get to a firefly pendant just stay put just in this this little underwater room right here you can find the pendant and also some gear parts I think to upgrade your weapons Okay, on to Bill's Town. So, as you drop down here, try not to go to the right because there's clickers in that little shack there, and over there on the right as well there's another clicker. You don't need to go over there, um, but we're going to head into this room on our right to get the pills note. It's in the room on the left. I sped this up because I was just looting a little bit and collecting stuff. We'll get to it in a sec. And the note is just in the back corner of this room. Right there. Okay, so once you exit that area that you just went through, on the way out, if you hop over, there's a shift door right here. There you go. Make sure you don't miss that one, because once you go through the gate where well, you have to boost Ellie over... You can't come back to it, so make sure you get it before you head through there. Once you do hop over the gate, though, and you've had a little chat with Ellie, head directly opposite to yourself into this building, and you'll find another conversation with Ellie on this arcade machine. Oh, look at that. Would you play this before? No. I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... What was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. Okay, so once you're heading down here, the left is the way to continue. But before you do, if you hop on top of this RV, You'll find a pendant, a 
I think the record store is where you've got to go or just to the left of it to continue. Hoping to restore the country to what it was. And then after that, you can find another collectible in the barbed wire fence yeah, down in the back here. Work. Anybody else live in this town? As I know, it's just him. Okay, so next collectible is actually in the record store. Just on your right here in the marquees. Shop, I think it's called. You're going to need to go into the back. This place. Yeah. So the collectible is just on this desk area right here. There's also some tape there. Jesus. Whoa, Nelly. What the hell was that? That. Would be one of Bill's traps. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? Well, that's oh, man, so as the clicker blows up, that little wire yeah, trap. So you can continue, you'll find a shift door there. And then see that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. When you drop into this area, you need to go straight ahead there to continue, but before you do, go left. And you're gonna need to come into this building. And when you get up top. There'll be an infected running at you you need to take out. Jeez. That thing scared the shit out of me. And there's a collectible in here. Well, I understand. While we're here, let's right. search the place. Good times. All right. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. Hey, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. Alrighty. So, when you're with Bill in this area, there's a few collectibles. There's that map right there on the desk as soon as you start out. In the room just behind you, there's also another collectible on the desk just there. Just stay out of his way. That's the fence's note. Once you've grabbed that, there's a conversation with Ellie on the left at the chessboard that's on the table. Just there. Hmm. Hey, you know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly, yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher, don't touch anything on that board. Bobby, what? Just let it go. And finally, there's a upgrade on the counter, just to your right before you leave. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. You As you come up these stairs, you want to back up yourself. Let me take a look around up here. Into this room. In there that I need. You need to go right at go the end of that corridor to continue. Want. Thanks. And you'll find the collectible on the table. I'm trying my best not to talk over the dialogue, but it's kind of hard. So right here, you get into a fight with Bill and Ellie. Once you've taken everything out, you can find a pendant hanging right. from the tree in the back of this area. Barricades again. You neglect the simple shit, and now you're paying for it. Right up there. Taking all the supplies from the warehouse. Okay. Well, now he's talking to himself. Bill. Joel. This way. Good times. New toy from the toy box. Just before you get the nail bomb, if you head to the left, you can find the first set of tools. This is a nail bomb. Nah, those trucks are like tanks. It's just sitting there. Actually, it might work. So when you're in the church, if you head to the right just before you exit That's into this room, room, Bill will tell you it's his room, and you'll find a note there about the bombs. Okay, so this one's a little difficult to show you where it is, so I thought the easiest way would be to show you what happens when you first enter this area. So you've got a few guys to take out. If you head down this way, 
through here and up these stairs. You'll get to the right house through that fence as well, up through the window, and you can find a pendant in the laundry room in this house. There's a couple of ways to get to there, so I just wanted to show you the way I got to it, just so you could, could be completely sure. No. Although I got some idea who might have come through here. School's on the other side of this house. Let's get inside. Come on, Ellie. So same here when you go through the treehouse and end up in the backyard with the pool. When you come in here, if you go upstairs, you'll find another collectible. I just wanted to make sure you guys be in the right place. If you are struggling to figure out a certain collectible though, I've got them all included in videos. There should be a walkthrough out at this point by the time this has come out. Uh, that shows pretty much everything in full detail, but I thought I'd cut out all the collectibles and show you them on their own For those people who, who are just after them Just in this room anyway Boy's diary hey. Ellie also comes in for a conversation here. Yeah, I I Just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring it up again. Ellie you don't need to worry about me. Let's go check on Bill. Okay. Just, just gonna steal my shit and run off? Is that it, Frank? So, just before you leave in the car with Bill and Ellie, if you head into the very back room in idea. this area, you'll find a collectible. I'll give you a holler. Right there on the table. And you can read it if you like right now. But what you need to do is go and give it to Bill. And then he'll read it and Ready? throw it on the floor. Bill, I uh, found this in there and I, uh, I figured you should have it. Well, that's how you feel. Well, fuck you too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. Make sure you pick it back up when he throws it down. Counts as another collectible. And then you got a conversation with Ellie. You gonna be okay with this? Yeah, not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. I won't let you down with this. All right. Hey. So that's the last one in this mission. Run to the Pittsburgh mission, which has a ton of collectibles in it. First one is in this room where you find all the dead bodies with Ellie. And it's a conversation first here with her. Fucking hunters. See this could have been us. Man, that is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. And in the same area you can, where you find the small bomb just here. Uh, I think there's a collectible on the side, but there also there's a set of tools in here, so make sure you don't leave without them. So, the collectible's just in the back corner, I think. Just here. Taurus Manifest. Hunter's talking about the stuff they got off people. Kind of gross. And the tools are in the back, right there. So... When you leave that area, you'll come upstairs into the area where the hunters were sort of living. I guess this is where the assholes sleep. I mean, slept. Yeah, this is just on the right, at the top of those stairs uh, that you'll come through after you come through that previous area I just showed. And the collectible is just on these mattresses right here, or just next to them on the shelf. An health care upgrade. One more collectible up here as well, just out here, and just ahead of you there is where you need to go to continue, but you want to go to this door on the right, or straight ahead if you just go straight down the corridor to get this ambush map. There's a bench in here also, some arrows, parts and stuff. Right, so, in this area, you need to just continue all the way up the street pretty much to, to carry on, but you want to go into the bus that I'm next to right now to grab a comic book. I almost walked straight past this one. I did quickly remember it was back there. You need to get into the bus from this side. You can find one of the collectibles. There it is. Really like this. And once you've grabbed that, 
just afterwards, just ahead of you, literally, is a conversation with Ellie at this car that I'm heading towards right now. Just wait for it to come over. What happened here? Your fellow hunters do this? Cute. And no, my money's on the military. Why would they mow down all these people? You can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? And dead people don't get infected. You sacrifice the few to save the many. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you learn to shoot? Man, You had an entire flock and <laughs> you hit nothing. I'm about to hit you. Wow. Yeah, you're really upset. Well, if you want some lessons, you know. Right, so when you come to this area, the hunters will come through and you can just wait for them to go past. You need to jump over the bus to continue here, but before you do that, you want to wait around to get the first joke with Ellie. If you jump over, you won't be able to get it, so make sure you wait. And we're going to wait for these guys to carry on. So when they've gone past and disappeared, or, or you've killed them, either one, you want to head towards the bus that you've got to climb over and just sort of wait in that area. Kind of wanted to make sure I explained, just don't jump over the bus. Can take a while to trigger, you'll probably see that from me speeding up the footage and waiting around here for a bit. Um, but I think you have to go, I was waiting around a little bit too far away, but you have to go right close to the bus. Ugh, those guys creep me out. Man. And Ellie will... Is this city full of these guys? Looks like yeah, it is, pretty much. Uh, Ellie will mention that you can jump over there. When she says that, just wait around in that area and you should be good to get the joke. Here we go. Hey, we can climb the bus right here. So just go close to her when she says that. And boom. Okay, we need to lighten the mood. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. What is that? It's a joke book. No pun intended. Volume 2 by Will Livingston. <sighs> Let's keep going. What did the Confederate soldiers use to eat off of? Civilware. Uh huh. What did they use to drink with? Cups. Dixie cups. <sighs> I walked into my sister's room and tripped on a bra. It was a booby trap. Yeah. A book just fell on my head. I only have myself to blame. Are we? I said it wrong. Hold on, let me read it again. A book just fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. <laughs> Ruined it. What is the leading cause of divorce in long-term marriages? <sighs> a stalemate. That's awful. You're awful. Do you even understand what that means? Nope. Doesn't matter. All right, I'm done. For now. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> right, so just after you jump over the bus after the joke, if you hop over these we'll sandbags... There's a collectible just inside this little booth right here. So I saw it for a second there. I think I'll hop back over and get it right now. Yeah, right there. Whoa. It's strange seeing a checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Okay, so when you're done there, go ahead, stand in this same area, and you'll get a conversation with Ellie. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Most times they just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. Okay, so this is another one of the joke locations. This one can be a bit of a hassle to get. So, what you want to do here is, no matter what you do, whether you do it stealthily or straight up attack everybody, if you end up on the second floor, I'm going to wait here. Okay. These guys finish their conversation, so we're not talking over each other. Anyway, 
when you finish fighting the guys, if you're on the second floor, wait on the second floor. Don't go back downstairs to get the other collectibles. Wait up here and wait for Eddie to tell you the joke. If you're on the first floor, come and you finish the fight with those. You clear everyone out. Come up to the second floor and just wait. Don't go back down to the first floor. You can go back down in a minute and get the other collectibles that are here. But if you've come up here or if you, if you finish the fight up here, just wait up here. If you end up downstairs, go upstairs and wait. Just make sure if you finish the fight up here, you don't leave. Otherwise, the joke won't trigger. Happened to me a couple of times. And I spent some time just trying to figure out how to get it to trigger specifically. And okay. it just seems like... Time to lighten the mood. What I just said. Bakers trade bread recipes on a need-to-know basis. Need. I get it. A moon rock tastes better than an earthly rock because it's meatier. <laughs> oh, man. That made me hungry. A backwards poet writes in verse. Do you even get that? Of course not. I used to be addicted to soap. But I'm clean now. <laughs> all right, I've actually never heard that one. Okay, I'm all joked out. Right, so once you're done with the jokes, hopefully I explained that well enough anyway. It's, uh... I couldn't get that one to trigger for some reason. It was really bugging me. It took me a while to figure it out. Anyway, there's a shift door in the back of this area. Make sure you get it before we continue. There's a few collectibles here. You might want to cy cycle around to get them all before you head out. I just wanted to put the joke first to give you guys a good explanation so shift door there's a map inside that shift door as well that's another collectible and if you haven't got them already you need to head back down i think there's three more collectibles here it's kind of a big area i think right here i was getting shift parts if you didn't know if you uh have a modded melee weapon and then drop it for just a pipe and pick the modded melee weapon back up. If you're empty on shiv parts, as in you don't have any parts to make shivs, it'll refill the stuff. Uh, you need to make one shiv and you can keep doing that and get as many shivs as you want. Really useful in grounded mode, especially if you're trying to get the shift doors. Okay, so coming back down these stairs, uh, there's a collectible just in this back corner right here. Which is the abandoned zone. No, this is the far end of the building from where you come in originally, if you're a little bit confused. Also under the stairs at the back here, there's another collectible. Right there. It's kind of easy to show you guys where all this stuff is when I've cleared out all the enemies. I mean, I could do it whilst the enemies are still here, but that's a bit of a struggle. And this should be the area that uh, you come to first. And there's a poster just here. On my right right now this area and then we're gonna head down this alleyway that's in the back of this area to find the firefly pendant if you're having problems figuring out how to take out the enemies in this area i've got videos showing you how to do it all if you're interested in that at all there we go okay so i think that's everything in this area yeah All right. I don't think they saw us. So right after those guys There's our head away. We're a little closer. I think. Let's keep at it. Come on. You want to head to the back of this area, turn around immediately, and we're going to come over here. There's some gear parts right there if you want them. And there's a conversation with Ellie right here on this poster. I thought you had plenty of food in your time. Oh, we did. Some just chose not to eat it. Why the hell not? For looks. That's stupid. So right after you get that conversation, you're going to want to wait around in the same area. You don't really have to move we could use some good for Ellie to tell you another joke. 3.14% of sailors are pirates. <laughs> 3.14. I stayed up all night wondering where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Oh, I get it. What did the mermaid wear to her math class? What? An algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. 
Why did the Scarecrow get a promotion? All right. Because he was outstanding in his field. That'll do. Put that thing away. Okay, I'm all joked out. Now what? So in the same area, before you continue, you need to head into the water to go and sort out the plank over there. Before you do that though, head to your left, just on the side of this bus, and you'll find this door marked with a red X that is a shiv door. There you go. Uh, go in there. There's something good in this one. There's also a collectible in here, which is, uh, I think, a mother's letter or something. I totally didn't just read that. Would I lie to you? So you need to go into this building to move through the truck and get uh, to the next area. Before you do that, head through this doorway and up these stairs and you can find a collectible at the top here at the back of this area. It's the only one here. Yeah, you just need to follow this around. And that'll also tell you where that last shift door is, but we already got it. We're way ahead of ourselves. So, you're going to hop into this building to continue along the main path. Oh, fancy. Uh, you ever stayed at a place like this? Uh, before it all went to shit, I mean. No. I had immediately left. No, I was too rich for my blood. Oh, I bet it was nice. I'm trying to get the conversations in with Ellie, but yeah, if you just head immediately left, come over to this area, hop over the counter, and you'll have a conversation here where Joel talks about oh, coffee. I really miss coffee. No, it's too high. Let's see what we can find. And when you set the ladder down to come up here, you can, I think you need to go left to continue, but if you go right, you got another one of these ledges you can shimmy up. And then, there's a collectible just here, over at the back, right there, and then, good times, that gives you the combination to the safe, that if you hop down here, and then head sort of to my left right now, and over this way to sort of the reception looking area, head all the way around, and you can find the safe which has a collectible in it. It's an upgrade collectible, I think. For shivs. Good times. And in the same area, when you go back up the ladder, just wait around. Uh, and Ellie will tell you another joke. It's four of the jokes already. Okay, Only one more to it's get. Time to lighten the mood. I tried to catch some fog earlier. I missed. <laughs> Do you know what's not right? Left? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What does a pirate say while eating sushi? I don't know what. Ahoy! Pass me some soy. I don't get it. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon. That's it. That's all I got. Okay, so once you're in this area and you have to hop up to continue, you'll pass a bathtub with two dead bodies in it, which is this way. Oh, creepy. There's a conversation with Ellie. took the easy way out, huh? Well, it ain't easy. For many, it was better than letting a clicker or a hunter do it for him. Trust me, it ain't easy. Okay, so you need to get this one to continue along the main storyline. But it does count as a collectible, so I thought I'd include it. It's the hotel key card. It's just on the desk right there. Okay, so... Just after Joel gets attacked and Ellie saves him, if you come in here, you'll see this writing on the board should let you know you're in the right area. It's also really creepy text. It talks about someone going missing and the hunter's taking good care of her. Creepy. So, once you've done that, or had a little look at the creepy text, you want to head this way, and you've got another ledge you can shimmy across, I'm pretty sure. I'm just exploring here for collectibles and stuff. Wait Pickups. There, okay. Sure, Joel. There is nothing there, though. Nothing. 
just after the ledge, you'll want to head to your left. There's a collectible on the desk at the back. I think it's a comic book. Yeah, right there. Alright, so once you're heading down this corridor, with the wet floor signs, there's a couple of bathrooms. If you go into the woman's bathroom, you can find a firefly pendant sat on top of the toilet. Colby Reed. And in the same area, at the bottom of this corridor, you'll find another upgrade manual just there. And at the end of this corridor, when you head into this room, you'll come across a backdrop. That door looks like a way out. Hey, you see a way to get up there? Nope. And this counts as a couple of conversations, so just make sure you've stood here and pressed triangle on Ellie as much as it, as it will allow you to. Because there's a couple of parts wow, to this one. Look at that. That's a, uh, a backdrop. People would take their pictures in front of it. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> okay, then. Something on your mind, Ellie? <sighs> I wasn't trying to disobey you back there. You were taking a really long time, and I thought... Maybe he's gotten into trouble. Look, it don't matter what you thought. I need you to listen to me. I do. It's just that... <sighs> Whatever, Joel. Okay. So, just after you take out all the hunters in this area, there's a conversation with Ellie near the guy that's hanging in this tree. You just want to come over and stand by it and wait for her to come over. Take your time, Ellie. It's fine. You've got all day. Whoa, Nelly. Harsh punishment. See, it ain't that much different than what the military does back in Boston. I guess not. Okay, so once you're done with that, there's another collectible in the very back of this area. You have to sort of walk through the fast food places in the freezer at the back. Once you come through here. Head behind the counter, keep going. And on your left here is the freezer and the notes just in there. Right there. Okay, so you'll come to an area where two guys approach you. Uh, down this small corridor. You can either let them go past or take them out. It's completely up to you. Whatever you do, there's a collectible in the offices in this area just before you continue. At least they're scared of us. Just try not to let your guard down. I'm just saying it's good having you on my side. That was a compliment. Okay. And it's at the very back desk, I think. Hopefully I'm giving you guys good enough bearings and showing enough so you know where you're going. It's just here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Final attack note. Right, so when you're in this area, just before you get here, Ellie will mention that there's guys on the second floor. And you'll come up to these two Molotov dudes, take them out. If you're struggling to know where this is, it's just in the it's just ahead of the area that's booby trapped in the street before you get to the area with the tanks, the down tanks in the street as well. Oh, it should be pretty obvious. Okay, collectible there, mob attack note. What? Oh, and the comic book thing. Okay, so once you're in this area with the down tanks, you wanna head into this little building here. And there's a collectible in here that talks about the trucks, I think. Yep, truck note. And there's also, I think, a shift door in the back of this area. I'm looking for pickups and stuff. Yeah, shift door's just in here somewhere. There it is. There you go. Good times. Right, so you'll come to this area where you drop down off the truck and there's a school to your right. I stayed at a place like this. 
back in the Boston QZ. Military Conversation, really? <laughs> yeah, nice way of saying orphanage. I wonder what happened to all these kids. Well, this place has been out for a good stretch. They ain't kids no more. Meaning they're either hunters trying to kill us, or they're dead. Or they got away. Right, so once you're done with that, in the same area, you can find this Dawn of the Wolf poster in the back corner. Head over to that to get another conversation with Ellie. Hey, there's another one. These posters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. You did? Is he totally gutter by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused, all right? All right. Good times. So once you meet up with Sam and Henry, as soon as you gain control, in the same room you start off in, you can find this upgrade man manual right here for the Molotovs. And just down the stairs in this area, there's another shift door. You'll head down with these guys if you're following them, really and you'll come to this anymore. locked door down. I think I it's just one flight of stairs that. you go down. Yeah. I one floor you come down. All right. Sweet. So use the shift to get in there, and there's a bunch of pickups in here. Way more if you're doing this on normal. But there's a comic book next to the computer in one of these rooms. It's not in here. I don't think it's in the room to my right right now. Oh no! Yeah, ahead of me here. Just on this chair. I bet Elliot like this. Also, Naughty Dog Mouse Matt. So, once you take out the guys in this area this and you come through here. You sure it's safe being so close to them? I'm the only one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. You won't miss it now. There's a firefly pendant in this bathroom. Okay, so before you head on to into this room ahead of me now, to the next cutscene, you want to come back a little bit into this office room. To grab this collectible. Just make sure to explore the offices you go into and you shouldn't really be able to miss it. And don't head into the room that Sam and Henry are waiting on. Okay, so onto the suburbs. So the first few collectibles on this mission are in the boat, straight ahead of you when you start. But just in case you're not sure, I'll lead you to it. Hey, maybe we can find something in that boat over there. Way ahead of you, kid. So yeah, you've got to veer off to the left to continue here, but the boat sort of out of your path. Although if you explore a little bit, you really can't miss it. Okay, so there's two in the cabin. It's just through this door on my left here. It's a little bit different in the water. Okay, Ellie, so. Found another one of them comics you've been reading. All right. And right next to that is the first in a series of collectibles from a character called Ish. Kind of an interesting bunch of collectibles if you want to read for them. Uh, I'm not sure if they're all included here. I do at least show a glimpse of the collectible so you can figure out that you've got the right thing and, and all that stuff. <laughs> So, down here, Firefly Pendant, just amongst that netting. And that's it in this area. Next up, we've got another Firefly Pendant. Which is just as you come into the sewers, you'll notice running water coming down from a tunnel to your right. If you hop up there... This way. There's a Firefly Pendant just on the left as you exit that little tunnel. I think there's some gear parts here as well. Uh -uh. Get a band if we should see what's over here. Just before you leave this area and you split with Sam and Henry to go and check different areas, there's a locked up area on your right. You have to go and mess with this grill Can't just here open. to get it open. Crawl through and clear that door. Yeah. Oh, yeesh. That is a big rat. Okay, so it is going to come over and pull this out of the way. 
allowing you to get in there and get the collectible, which is just in the back corner of this room. Uh, voila. Just there. Sewers note. Do you think they'll join us? Um, all the way to Tommy's? Well, I don't know. Okay, so when you get to the area with the jammed door, yeah, in which you have to swim on the water to unblock it, if you go to the left, nah, there's no before way I just drop there. down, oh, I can't. underwater right over here, there's another firefly pendant. Good times. So, when you've got to drop down the pallet to continue in this area with helping Ellie across that water, if you go into this room, it's got a couple of clickers in it. You'll find another collectible, so it's up to you whether you want to sneak past them or take them out. The problem with sneaking past them is you have to go up these stairs to get around them. Although I'm pretty sure you can go around the left of that clicker, but you can't walk slowly whilst going upstairs, which is kind of annoying. You see here, like, I'm moving. I'm trying to move slowly, but it just doesn't let you on the stairs. The clicker's almost hearing me. But I got away with it. Another clicker here, I think I ended up taking this one out. And the collectible's just on the right. Right there. Okay. So... If you hop down here just after the generator when you're heading down this tunnel, on your left is a little room with a set of tools in it. Make sure you don't miss this one. And that is literally right after you get over that area where you need to cross the water. Uh, what's up with this? You think there's people inside? And then... So when you get into the little closed up area where you get the shorty. Someone thought they could keep a place like this safe. <laughs> There's a collectible just on your left up ahead. On the shelving. Right there. So when you take out the clickers just ahead of that area, or after you exit that area someone has been trying to keep safe, you'll come in here. It's where they've got a bunch of barrels trying to catch the rain. You actually have to go the other way to continue, so make sure you come up the stairs just after you take out the enemies to get the rain catcher note. Okay, so when you're leaving this area, coming up top just here, bunch of gear parts there. There's a sh is this a shift door? No, oh, just a collectible on this guy's dead body. Okay, so when you get into the area where you get split from Ellie and uh, Henry, you'll be with Sam. And after you've taken out all the enemies, you need to continue up here with this ladder. We're gonna keep going. You good? Yeah. If you head back just a little bit, just before you continue, there's a collectible right there on the shelf. Look at the kids drawing. So just before hey, you get that. Yep. What I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. Right, if you don't, I'll continue. There's a bunch of collectibles in this area, right, but there's also some the conversations way. you have That's to get. Usual, right? When I was with Henry, I took out a couple of infected by myself. You'd be proud. Yeah. First one is in this building. I tried to include as much as I could out of this area because it can get a little confusing. But like I said, there's a joke in this area, the last joke. And you need to get all the conversations to make sure you get that joke. But in this house, there's a collectible just here. It's the looting note. If you're trying to get the collectibles in this area, I'd recommend just following what I do. You'll come to this point where there's a broken building. When the hit. Henry will tell you a story. I remember it's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues parents they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people you know I remember the smell more than anything weird 
So when he's done, if you head to the building directly opposite of that one, you'll get one of these conversations just outside this building. I don't think you have to get that previous conversation, but it's. Good. I thought it was good to include it just because uh, it give you a good bearing of where you gotta go. We'll shoot on sight. Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Conversation. Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. Okay, so you'll come to this ice cream truck a little what bit further that? down the street. Oh. It's another conversation. This is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They'd sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel? That's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm-mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. Okay, so when you head over to this building, you'll need to go inside to get another collectible. I think there's a conversation on the bottom of, bottom of it as well. That does count as a conversation, but for some reason, uh, it's not actually a conversation. It's kind of weird. It might be in the next house, but it is in this area, definitely. And there is collectibles in this building. I think in the back room... There's a collectible just here, and there's one in the attic of this house as well. It's still one more conversation we need to get before we can get that final joke. And yeah, when you're in the same building as where we got that last collectible, you're gonna have to approach this door. Right? Attic door. Yeah, ceiling's falling apart. Press triangle there to get Ellie to get up into the loft and find your collectible. Find anything? Here you go. Thank you. Noish. Okay. <clears throat> right. So this is where you get the joke. Providing you've got all the conversations that I've shown already, you should get the joke. Fireflies were here. Yeah, by the looks of it. How are we gonna find them? I know a guy. My brother, actually. He was a firefly. Last I heard, he was in Wyoming. We get there, we find him, we find the fireflies. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. Okay. So, as long as you've gone through all those combos, you'll get this joke right now with Ellie. Shouldn't take too long to trigger. Uh, this one's quite easy. Okay, you guys are killing me with your downer talk. It's joke book time. What is that? Just bear with me. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Short but sweet. So. Because then it will be a foot. <laughs> that is so dumb. I love it. Right after that, if you hop up this ledge. And uh, in this tree, there's a firefly pendant. I'm gonna smack it with my brick. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, there's one more conversation, like I said, in this area. And uh, it's not actually a conversation, it's kind of weird. You just sort of throw a dart. It's more of a conversation between Sam and Ellie. But you've also got to get collectibles in this building. It's all in this last build. I think this is the last building this in this area with collectibles in it. I was having a little search here. Also helps you guys know where you're going if maybe you've come through this building through the back or something. But we're going to head upstairs. Two collectibles up there. On this floor. And then there's one more above this floor. So we've got a comic book in the bathroom Ellie, here. Found another one of them comics. And there's a note on the table right here. Survivor's note. So, when you've got that, you're going to head up to the next floor. And there's one more collectible there, which is the matchbook with the safe key on it. Right, so, 
coming back Sam? downstairs. These guys will be playing a game of darts. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Right, You're going to want to chill, wait for them to finish. Yeah. Oh, damn it. All right, your turn. Okay. Just throw it. Yeah. Boosh. I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. That was luck. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Fuck. Horrible. All right. It's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when they're done, you want to walk up and throw the dart. I was trying to figure out what the numbers they actually threw, but... Never mind. Throw the dart, and that's the conversation somehow. I don't know how that works, but... And Joel sucks. Worse than both of them put together. I'll come a day with so, on to Tommy's dam. The last time you saw him. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well... <laughs> There without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. So you know you're in the right area here when you come to this bridge and you've got to go underneath it, but if you veer off to the right just before that, there's a comic book just up here. There's a comic she's been reading. All right. It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. Let's do that. Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? Gonna figure that out. Once you, once you get to the top of these stairs, there's a shift door right here. Just before you need to cross that bridge and go underwater to get the pallet for Ellie. And this conversation here. I will. With Ellie as you account as a conversation, even though it's more of a gesture or something. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Can't leave it hanging. And. Just before you head off to the next area, you want to veer off to the left of that walkway where we just high-fived Ellie, and you can find this grave to get a conversation off of. I've got to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Ellie. What? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. Let's get past okay, this so, place, then we can scrounge up some food. So if you head right here, you'll head to the cutscene with Tommy. Before you do that, go left, go into this little shack and get the map. Ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. And uh, make sure you come and get this fast, because you won't be able to come back and get it. Working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. It's a conversation no just here with Ellie with the horse. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. So yeah, that's just after you get into the dam. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Yeah, and her father, they set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops I'm going to have to talk over Tommy here, but when you're walking Remember through this Tommy area and Tommy's explaining like all this stuff to you, if you head to the right, which usually you wouldn't do because you're trying to kind of follow in Tommy and listening to him, there's a conversation on the right with this woman. Been at it for too long to give up now. You're new around here. Yeah, Joel, I'm Tommy's brother. War travels quickly around these parts. Apparently. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. It's a compliment. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Right, so as you go in inside here with Tommy, these just after you, you're given the option to pet the dog, it's a collectible on the left. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure, make it two. Uh, we're almost right ready. here. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No worries. Again, I'm gonna have to talk over Tommy a little bit because he keeps chatting away throughout this. But when these guys are fixing this turbine here and Tommy's showing it to you, 
if you go down to the level everybody's on, we did it, boys. and then head to the right through this doorway at the bottom of the stairs I'm on right now, somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. Through here, you can find another firefly firefly pendant on the shelf. taken out the enemies in this area you can get the map that these guys were looking at before you came in Did you guys see anything we got them let's get to the bridge yeah, it's right there bandits they're breaking into the building can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. Be careful. So when you come into this house later Ellie? in the mission to chase Ellie, there's a firefly pendant in this back room. Ellie! Just here. here. Jesus Christ. Okay, so last collectible on this mission. When you head upstairs, you, you head into this room. Uh, no, not that one. This one. You'll find a comic book right next to these board games. <laughs> Alright, so onto the university. So when you start out here on this mission, you want to turn around and head back on the route that you would have came from. It's literally right at the beginning of the mission. And uh, you'll find a comic book sitting on one of these cars just here. Stay, Callus. What kind of name is Callus, anyways? Not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callus. Okay, so next collectible is over to my right right now. You have to go straight ahead there to continue. You can also get the flamethrower here if you come here first. So uh, before you jump over that first barricade, hate that name. steer to your right. And flamethrower is just here if you want it. And then you need to go up the stairs that are in this area to get the collectible. I wanted to show the whole thing just in case you got turned around. We're talking. Edited out my uh, bench usage, usage there. These were all taken from my playthrough. Full playthroughs there if you want to watch it. I'm sure I've already mentioned it a couple of times by now. But yeah, up to the top floor. And you come out right here. Collectible's just here. There was a lookout here. There it is. Okay, so when you do hop over the barricade, <laughs> fun. you'll find a conversation a here by looking round. up at this banner. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports, hell yeah. Ooh, it's getting chilly. Where's that time of year? And when you head up the stairs just after that, and go through the little archway on your right, you'll find. Firefly pendant I'll be right hanging back. in the tree. I'll be here. Right there. <laughs> right, next collectible is in the area where you need to open up this gate. Probably get this one without me telling you about it. It's the wall panel note. It's literally sitting next to the uh, panel you have to I mess with to open so. the door. Joel, please. Alright, so as you come up these stairs, you're going to have to hop over that barricade to continue. Before you do that, though, you want to go over to the right, just up here, to get yourself a collectible. It's a pendant. And then, when you do hop over this barricade, yeah, mess of them. where you see these monkeys, if you head over to your right, there's a little area you can go into, and on the top floor of that area, there's another collectible. Kind of easy to miss this one because you don't have to come here at all. Unless you're doing lots of exploring. <laughs> you 
Yes, you need to hop onto the roof there. Jump through this other window to get it. It's in here on the side. Right there. Okay, so as you're coming down here, Ellie will mention fireflies. the fireflies. And you can get a conversation on this logo oh, that's directly ahead of you after that. I see. Just there. This is good. First sign of fireflies. And then when you need to dismount Callus and come into the dorm seal. You too. There's a map on the desk in the first area you get into. Just there. Okay, so when you're in the campus, there's a good few collectibles here. Um, I did my best to include me running around as much as I could so you sort of knew where you were. It's on the second floor, as you just said, you're going to come in here. And the collectible, I think, is on the the side of the, this room that I'm going into right now. It's the newspaper. Oh, no, yeah, there we go. It's, it's in that drawer, the student's journal. The next one is the newspaper clip, and I think... If you are getting confused, though, just look at the floor numbers. All right, so we're going to take out these clickers in this area that you drop into with the spores. Um, usually you can just sneak past everything here, but you need to kill the bloater, which drops a firefly pendant. So I thought I'd show you guys how to take them all out. Maybe you were struggling with that. This is the only collectible in the game you've got to kill something to get. Easiest way, to, easiest way to kill this bloater, by the way, is the fire. Especially if you're on grounded mode and trying to save your bullets. It's pretty easy on any other modes. This was grounded, so I had no other use for the flame for, really. I thought it best just to use it on this guy. Okay. So when he does go down, go and get the pendant off his body. Good times. So after that area, you'll come to another section of the dorms, just where Joel takes the mask off. If you come over here to your right, up there, up those stairs, and come in here. It's a newspaper clipping in this area. I don't think I went to it straight away, but I think it's in this room. Just on, yeah, right where I looked, just there. But I do come back around and get it in a sec. I think I just got caught up exploring and stuff. It's in that first room I was in though. And I think this is the collectible that's from a character that could possibly be in The Last of Us 2. And this collectible is written by a character called Lev. And there's a character called Lev in The Last of Us 2. I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Okay, so when you're coming through this area, with all the tents, there's a collectible just in the, the far back one here. It's a pendant. Are we ever going to find living? Huh? Right, and then once you get into the university building, a few collectibles in this area. I think this one could be the shift door, which is just at the end of this corridor.
straight ahead of me right now. And there's a couple of collectibles in here as well. You got a set of tools, and I think there's also an upgrade manual in there. There you go. Right there. And there. Good times. Okay, so this counts as a conversation, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't avoid it. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Okay, so next collectible is just ahead of you after you get up the stairs in this room. It's a recorder. The audio on these recorders is really quiet for some um, reason. So it's probably clickers, right? No, clickers don't hide. Just after you get that audio cue and you pass through that tent, head to your left rather than your right and you'll find the fungal x-rays collectible just there. And then... Jesus. When you get to heal... I think there's two collectibles in here. There's a recorder and a pendant. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, maybe in all that research, they turn into fucking monkeys. Just keep searching. We'll find something. All right, recorder right there. Blue one. I'm sure glad we didn't mess with them monkeys. He didn't say where they went. I know. Let's just keep looking. And pendant right there on the back shelf. That's the last one for this mission. Moving on to the Lakeside Resort. So, when you start out here, you have a bunch of collectibles that you didn't have before in Ellie's backpack. And to get them to count, you need to look at them. So, we're going to open up the backpack and just look through all of these. Make sure you hang around on each one for a few seconds. Because on some of them, Ellie says some things. And I think to get them to count, you have to get Ellie to talk. So just get a good look at them all. I don't think she says anything about these books that she owns. I think she starts talking once she gets to Riley's pendant. Yeah, right here. I miss you. And also make sure to flip each one if you can, if it gives you the uh, option to do that. I was so stupid. I should have said something different to you. I should try to fix this. This is a letter from Ellie's mom. And uh, I think everyone's pretty sure at this point she's going to be in The Last of Us 2. There's a character in one of the trailers. That people are speculating is hard. No, I, I don't know if that's set in stone yet or if they've actually showed or confirmed that. But it seems that way. It's kind of cool. It's kind of going to be interesting to see how she reacts to what happened in The Last of Us 1. If you know the storyline, you'll know what I'm talking about. But he, uh, and when you talk to Riley later, she talks about how... I'm trying to make you proud. Have to listen to that. She talks about how Ellie's mom left her with Riley. Oh no, sorry, Marlene, not Riley, my bad. Um... And we all know how that works out if you know the story. I should have given this to you when I had the chance. Okay, that's it. Good times. Should be all of them. Again, just make sure you get her to say what she's got to say on those ones where she does actually talk. Next collectible is just before you encounter Robert. Just ahead of you. Before you head forward and go cue the cutscene, head left just here into this doorway. And there's a comic book in this drawer. Okay, so when you get into the building with Robert and you've got to go up onto the walkways to help you both continue. A clicker will stumble out. 
do what you will with that clicker, get rid of him or sneak past him, whatever. I'm pretty sure you've got to take him out because he heads back into the room where the collectible is. If you wait about here, he shouldn't get to you. You should just end up turning around and walking away. And follow him, take him out. And there's a pendant in this little room to my left right now. Just there. Okay, so when you come into this area with Robert, on your right up these stairs is a conversation. It didn't trigger for me, but it's on these bodies. So just check the bodies, press triangle on them, and Robert will tell you how they're his guys to get that one to account. Okay, so when you get to the cabin, just here, just after Ellie's horse gets shot, if you head to this window on your right as you come in, you'll find a pendant just in this gazebo right there. Okay. So when you leave that area and after you head through this tunnel, on your left, there should be a comic book. Just up these stairs and on this bench. Nice. Okay. So this is another one of the shift doors. Only two more to get after this one, I think. And this is when you take control of Joel. You come in to find Ellie. When you run into this snowy area, just run straight ahead until you get to these buildings. And then head left through the doorway. We're going to go to the back area. Through to the bathroom. Hop through. And there's your door. It's also a collectible in there. Right. Giving us 118 now. Good times. So, can't really miss this one. But as you come through this door, you'll find Ellie's backpack sitting on this shelf. There's a collectible right next to that. That does count as a collectible, but there's one right next to that to your right on the shelf as well. Which talks about the meat. The meat ledger. Alright, onto the bus depot. Only a couple missions left now. Really aren't a hell of a lot of collectibles left to get. <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my six string. You know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm going to teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Conversation there. Oh. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. Okay, so when you're done with that, head into this RV on your left. And there's a photo in here which counts as a collectible. But also make sure to look at the dead bodies. And you'll hear Joel say, God, like that. And I think you have to do that to get this next conversation that's just outside the RV to trigger. So I'm going to pick up all this stuff. Head outside, go to the left, and then Ellie should talk I to us about her dream. The other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And... Right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. All right, so when you're done with that conversation, head to the end of this highway, where you're sort of coming back on to, uh, well, join in with this other road. And behind these cars, you can find a pendant. Just right there. Okay, so... After you've taken out the guys in this area, you're gonna... Maybe we cut through here, huh? So there's a collectible in here just on your left in this suitcase. Right there. And once you've grabbed that, you need to climb the ladder to continue. Before you do that though, you're gonna wanna wait around and talk to Ellie. She's gonna come down this stairway and sit down on the bench. And you need to talk to her and ask her what's wrong. I'm pretty sure there's two parts to this conversation. One of them is the ladder and one of them is Ellie sitting down right here. But just to be sure, make sure you get both. I'm pretty sure you have to do the one to continue. Uh, but you can miss this one. So I'd say this is more the optional conversation when Ellie's sitting on the bench right here. And Joel asks if she's okay. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not... 
It's fine. Okay. Also, the uh, I didn't get the prompt above her head then. Well, we could use that for some ladder. reason to talk to her, but it is there. Here we go. Ellie. Ellie. What? The ladder. Come on. Right. Okay, so this also counts as a conversation. Make sure you interact with the giraffe. It's a sentence I never thought I'd say, but you know. What are you doing? It's alright. Come here, come here. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Hey there. <laughs> so fucking cool. Probably my favorite scene in the game, also. Here, come on. But, uh, slow down, kiddo. Follow Ellie here, and there's another conversation when you get up the top of these stairs. Hurry up, come on, come on, come on. And, uh, there's only one more conversation after this. Oh, man. Wow. Look at those things. And it's right here. One more combo to go. So, is everything you were hoping for? It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. you mean well but there's no halfway with this once we're done we'll go wherever you want okay well i ain't leaving without you so let's go wrap this up so just after you come down the stairs after the giraffe conversation if you come down into this area and head into the men's bathroom you can find another collectible Ellie, comic, comic book find another one of them comics you've been reading well, this place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you look, you just saw families torn apart. The whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that Tools right there. Sarah? Yes, it was. I... After you've got those tools, which are around in the area where Joel's talking about previous experiences. You can also find a firefly pendant just here, hanging off this light. Grab that. And then in the back tent, there's also another collectible, which is a map, I think. And just after that, you get the last conversation as well. So, go right here, there's the map. And then just as you go to leave here, You'll get the conversation with Ellie. Just Joel, here. I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. you try I guess you can't escape your past <laughs> thank you right so next collectible is just down here when you have to come down this ramp on the other side of this bus kind of easy to miss this one just because you're going down into the tunnel but just head left here 
It's in this corner. It's a firefly pendant. This time it's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you Natalie mean? Who? So once you're in the tunnel and you've got to sneak past or kill all of these clickers, you can find another collectible sitting on top of one of these trucks. You'll know which one it is because it has sort of a I think it's like a red lion painted on the side of it. Makes it kind of easy to spot, but I thought I'd just show you the way to it so you could definitely find it. But that's the one just ahead right there. So, you're going to want to hop on top of this thing. And the collectible's right there, which is an upgrade map. Okay. So, just after you help Ellie with the ladder here, if you run along the venting system on your left and just hop up here, you can find a comic book collectible. Alright, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. And when Ellie opens this door for you, you're going to have to head through here and head to your left. But if you head right, you'll find, uh, I think, the second from last shift door. So, yeah, just on your right as you come through here, it's right there. There you go. Okay, onto the Firefly Lab. Not very many left now at all. So once you get up to the second floor after escaping the group of guys you have to fight, you'll find a sergeant's recorder straight through the door. And if you come into this room right next to that, you can also find uh, Marlene's recorder number one. And directly opposite that room is the final shift door. Right there. Bunch of collectibles in this one area. There's really only a few in this mission. Firefly pendant right there on the desk in the shift door room. And... Then, when you come out of here and head this way, which is kind of to your left as you come out of that shift door, uh, you'll find Marlene's journal in this tent-like area. Right there. I think... I've only got one more to go. After this one, that is. So, in here, you'll find another recorder. Good times. Onto the Jackson. This is, it only has one collectible on it. But. Alright. Gotta include it. Now watch your head going through. Here. I got it. Feeling my age now. Okay, so as you hop through the barbed wire there, if you head to your right. told you, but Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. The last collectible's right in this car over here. Just there. We've been good friends. I think you really would have liked me. I know she'd have liked you. And that's it. Much love for checking out the video. I hope it helped you out. Let me know in that comment section if it did. If you'd like to follow me further, you can check out my Twitter or my Twitch. Links are in the description for that. Have a great day, everyone. And until next time, take it easy.